Hercules. These little pod things. If you listen closely to that, that's really creepy. It's kind of like this sort of sexually satisfied moan at the end of a death throw. Maybe it's time to punch someone in the face! Or shoot them, whatever. But yeah, there's lots of lots of quite creepy enemies in Dead Space, which I like. I like creepy stuff as opposed to jump scares. I think that's that's the problem with horror nowadays. Is it, it tends like tends to rely too much on um, just startles and jump scares and stuff. Not enough on kind of true horror and getting under your skin. Either that, or it's or it's explicit gore, which is okay, I guess. But it's kind of like become saturated in the market at this present point. But that's just me. I mean, I've studied, I've studied horror films. And uh, that's just my personal preference. I like to be creeped out. In the East Grove chamber. Good for you. Yeah, I like to be creeped out. I like for stuff to kind of stick in my mind. Rather than just jump and get over it. I mean, nowadays I don't really jump in films or games at all because. I know exactly how. I pretty much know exactly how these things are set up. Oh, son of a bitch. Sup, bro? How'd you like me now, motherfucker? <laughs> Okay, Mr. Gropod, where are you at? Did I get him? I, I guess so. Alright, good enough. I think I got him. Wow, it's quite dark in here. Lots of items in this level. That's kind of a downside to it is that um, because it's quite a long level and there's a lot of items to pick up the item management especially if you're uh, using like even with the, the uh, most upgraded suit you can get on a first playthrough at this point you don't have a lot of inventory space so it's very awkward to try and pick everything up and make decent money off this uh, this level it requires several trips which is somewhat annoying Like, I mean, look at this section. Oh, damn it. I thought I crushed you. Urgh. But yeah, there's a shitload of stuff here. Which I don't really need. Uh, 
and that's fully loaded. Coolies. It's just, it just goes on and on. Hundreds of items. But it'll still require a couple of playthroughs, especially if you're doing this on a, a console. Uh, screw it, we'll start with level 3. Um, if you're doing this on a console and you're going for trophies or achievements, um, and you're trying to get like full upgrades, and uh, how is there no air at the top of the same room that I was already in? <laughs> it's very strange. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, if you're trying to upgrade weapons and stuff, it'll still take you uh, a couple of playthroughs to get like the fully upgraded things. Um, even if you're meticulous about grabbing every item, you still won't have uh, sufficient money to upgrade all your weapons. Hydroponics log, Dr. Cross reporting. Something huge just slammed into the hole near food storage. It wasn't a rogue asteroid. I know what that sounds like. But it was big and heavy. I'll report again when I know more. More nodes. I totally forgot. Um, there is another weapon which I've barely used. The contact beam. I don't know if I've mentioned it already. And get this. Ah. Still not quick enough on the draw. Son of a bitch. And I'm still not sure if I can actually shoot that before it hits me. <laughs> but of course there's no more items down there. I like this corridor. This I like this. It looks really cool. <laughs> nice and squishy. I do enjoy those kind of fleshy environments. I mean, not for extended periods, but breaking up a sort of industrial area, it's very cool. Same with like uh, Gears of War when you're inside that massive uh, tunneling worm thing. I like that level. It's interesting. This is Temple, Acting Chief Engineer. I came down here to find Dr. Elizabeth Cross, but she's not here. In fact, I can't find anyone. Just more of this organic shit everywhere. I'm going to check the mining deck. It's about the only place I haven't looked yet. Did I say Gears of War 3? I'm sorry if I said that. I meant Gears of War 2. Gears of War 3 is yet to release. <laughs> Don't believe the lies. Read what they really say. Ah, cool. It's a translation of the, uh, of the alphabet. Maybe someday... I'll wander around the Ishimura and actually translate what everything is, or what's actually being said. But right now, I can't really be fucked. Man, this is cool. Nice and delicious. I don't really know how I go about this. I know I've got to be careful of that uh, electricity. No, I can't go up there. Yeah. Oh shit. Can I destroy it? Can I stop it? Can I stop it. Um through here. No, go. Don't want to get caught by the electricity. <laughs> Ow. Backstabbing motherfucker. Okay, we're all good. Just be wary of the electricity and you'll be absolutely fine. Where is that guy? Oh, there he is. Chilling in the corner. Blah. 
Blow you away! <laughs> Spinning baby. <laughs> Alrighty, should be absolutely sorted now. So I guess we just backtrack our way back. No other exit. There's another one around here. Where is he? Gosh darn it. Is it just you? Are you making all the noise? Okay, I guess, guess there was no more <laughs> in that area. That was a complete waste of time. And now, nah. only annoying thing I don't uh, I don't like about this organic shit, as they have called it, um, is that you can't run. Realistically, so I mean, you probably slip up and get your ass caked in this stuff, but uh, yeah, makes it a little bit annoying to progress. Where is this last bloody poison pod? Back there? Okay. Totally confused now. Holy shit. Whoa, did that guy just like fly off the uh... <laughs> just flew right off the catwalk. I missed one on here, it would appear. Oh crap. Over enthusiastic about running! Gotta keep making sure I'm on the right track. Right. Up. To what level though? Go to? Oh, of course. Ah! Smack myself in the face for being a total idiot. <laughs> yes, you all remember how I took the path that wasn't originally mapped as being the next direct route? and said it was cyclical. It's not cyclical. I'm a total idiot and I've wasted all this time just to come back and do something I should have initially started with. Which I did actually do last time I was playing this, which is just... Yeah, that's the one. Last one, Isaac. There's a switch in atmosphere control to restart the oxygen recycling. Once the air's clean, you can get into food storage. 
Isaac, I've been reading these reports. The crew all began having mass hallucinations. And, well, I just saw my brother on a security monitor. And that's just not possible. All right, all right. Sorry about the huge waste of time there, guys. But now we're back on track. I totally don't know how that slipped my mind. All right, well we're nearly done. We've got one last thing to do, and that's kill the Leviathan. Man, is all they grow watermelons and pumpkins in this place? And tomatoes? That seems like a such a weird diet. Maybe they're good for space travel. Bitch, stop complaining, I'm doing the best I can. Definitely need to offload stuff. Alright, let's clean this air. Flushing all air vents. Restoring nitrogen and oxygen levels. Food storage lockdown lifted. Alright, let's finish this beast. Hydroponics log, this is Dr. Cross. It's hard for me to believe what I'm seeing here. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. <gasps> I'm going to the mining deck. I hear that's where survivors are gathering. Jacob, I'll wait for you there. Great. Unknown antigen injected into the filtration system. Damn it. The poison wasn't strong enough. It's still alive. Get in there and kill it before it contaminates the entire ship. Yeah, sure, Kendra. That sounds easy enough. Holy shit, that's dark. Entering zero gravity. I'd say line racks! Line racks! Okay. Line racks, not fast firing enough. Bitch gonna get cut. Come on.
right to the face. Isaac needs to be able to dodge roll, damn it. Yeah, taste your own medicine, bitch. Okay, totally fucked that up. Now I am dying. Okay, no more fanciness. Just pure death. That is super gross. Isaac! You did it! Hammond, do you read? Oxygen levels are returning to normal. Damn it! He's gone again. No sign of his rig anywhere. It's up to us now. I've got a plan to get off this ship. I've located an SOS beacon on the mining deck. If you can get down there and activate it, we might be able to send a distress call. I don't know how much longer that target will hold. That's cool. Actually get a decent uh decent look at Isaac's armor. It's pretty sweet. Let's pick up all this stuff and then we'll move on. Yes, there was. And they sure give you a lot of stuff. Alright, that looks about... That looks like everything, so we'll, we'll leave it there. We'll move on. Exiting zero gravity. Hammond's gone, of course. Schematic, which you don't need. Man, Isaac must have balls of steel. <laughs> It seems so calm after taking on a massive fucking grotesque monster. So I'm pretty sure I'd need to sit down after that. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of this session. We're technically over halfway done now, or exactly halfway done. I think exactly halfway, if you count doing all the levels, six to go. So we're well on track, and uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this session, and I'll be back next time with more Dead Space interestingness. So until then, have a good one, and I'll catch you guys later.